What is going on everybody, Brad here, and in this video, I'm gonna go step by step and show you how to download, install, and set up MSI Afterburner so you can start monitoring your system's performance in all of your PC video games. Sound good? Then let's get started. Now before we dive in, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already as I post new home theater and gaming related content every single week. Also, all of the links that I mentioned in this video will be in the description below along with my Amazon affiliate links which do help support the channel at no cost to you when you use them. So with all that said, let's dive in and we'll get everything set up so you can start monitoring the performance of all your games. So the first thing you wanna do is just Google search MSI Afterburner, one of the top search results and you'll see a couple of different options right from the get-go. Uh, I personally prefer downloading from guru3d.com. It's what I've used in the past. So as you can see right now, we are on MSI Afterburner 4.6.3 Beta 4 download. Scroll all the way down to the page. I would personally recommend going with the 4.6.2 stable final build. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. It'll start downloading automatically. And once that's downloaded, we can go ahead and exit out of there, go to our downloads folder, and we wanna extract this file here. Now you can just use Windows to do this. You should see like an extract all button somewhere here. Uh, I use WinRAR, but you don't have to use that. So I'm just gonna click extract here. It's gonna extract those files. And we're just gonna go ahead and double click on MSI Afterburner setup. Select your native language, hit next accept the license agreement because you know nobody reads those and then here's something very important we want to make sure that we're also installing Riva Tuner statistics server as you can see down by the description it says provides frame rate monitoring on-screen display and video capture services to MSI afterburner so if you already have MSI afterburner installed and you're not getting anything to work go ahead and type in search down here Riva and see if anything pops up. You can type in tuner as well. Again, nothing is there. So my recommendation there is to just go ahead and uninstall MSI Afterburner and then reinstall from the latest version, so 4.6.2. But we're gonna go ahead and install this. Click next and just in the default locations, fine, and install. You're gonna go through Riva Tuner Statistics Server Setup Wizard. Let's go ahead and click next. Basically do the same thing we did with MSI Afterburner. Default install location is fine. And basically let these complete. You don't have to show the readme if you don't want to. I never do. We're gonna click finish. Again, don't show readme. We wanna run MSI Afterburner though, so click finish and that will launch. And as you see, this is our basic interface here. Now this is also used for overclocking your video card and setting custom fan profiles. We're not gonna be doing any of that in this video. That's a topic for a different video altogether. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click the little gear icon here. Go over to on-screen display because we're gonna set up a keyboard shortcut really quick. So for me, Alt F8 is what I'm gonna use and just click apply. And now I'm gonna click okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the heaven benchmark because I wanna use this uh, just for this video. You don't have to do this, uh, but it helps to have a visual guide as you're making adjustments to see exactly what's going on. So just for this video, so we're gonna click run. All right, so I have the heaven benchmark pulled up here. I'm gonna go back into the gear icon, monitoring, and we're gonna go ahead and just click on GPU temperature, and we wanna click on show in on-screen display and click apply. Now, if we go over here, we're gonna notice we should see something pop up, and you might not be able to see it, but there is a little something there. So if we actually go down into our little tray icon here and click on Riva, open that up. Now you'll see this is basically where we control where it shows up on screen. So if we click one of these little blue icons here, you'll notice now we have something going on over here. So let me go back to MSI Afterburner, this little area here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on GPU usage. Click on show an on-screen display, and if I click apply, you're gonna see we get 97%, 96%. So we can go through everything here that we wanna see and activate those. And you can highlight things multiple at a time just by holding shift and clicking below it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of these on. So I'm just gonna click that, click apply. You'll see these pop up over here as well. So now I'm gonna keep going down. We can look at the CPU temperature here, which is really cool. So we don't really need all of these. So I might click on just this one by itself. Click apply, we're gonna see that there. And then CPU usage as well. Do you, as you can see, I have a Ryzen 3900 XT. So I have 24 threads. 
Uh, I'm just going to use CPU usage here, but this is uh, really handy for monitoring all the threads to see if a game is using multiple threads. So very cool. CPU clock as well. Uh, again, you have all of these here, and then you have just this one, which is basically the average of all of them. So we can click that. And we just basically keep going and you want to turn on everything that you want to see. So RAM usage, there we go. Turn that on. Look, frame rates right here. Now, initially you notice you can't click on any of this. We have to turn on the little check mark to have that show up. So there we go. And watch when I turn that on. Now we have 84 FPS right here. And we're, it'll even tell us what a uh, version of Direct 3D we're using or whatever graphics API we're using. And then frame time, in order to get your little frame time graph to show up, what we wanna do is click on this here and then click on on-screen display and we want it to show as text and graph. You can do just graph, but I find it helpful to have both. So we have 10 point, you know, tell us the millisecond in the frame time as well as the graph down here. Now you might be saying, but Brad, this is a little small. How do we change that? For that, now we have to go back over into Riva Tuner. Right down here, we have a little slider called on-screen display zoom. And if we just start zooming that up, now it goes in steps. So you notice it got way bigger and that's great. That might be what we want. That might not be what we want. So really depending on the resolution, you have to go in and play with the slider to get the size you want. You could, you know, if you're playing in 4K, it might look something like that. So you might need to go in here and zoom that up. Now what's cool is you can also add a little background. So see, this is really bright over here. If we just click on on-screen display fill, it'll add a little kind of transparent, darker background behind the text so you can actually see it. So really cool. And then if you're finding that your stuff is a little too cut off on the side over here, or if it's too close, you just go down here and use these little buttons. You can also enter them in manually if you'd like. You know, you might wanna bring this out a little further into the screen. These settings here will save if you start going into other areas on the screen. You might wanna go in here and label these and that's actually really easy as well. So if we go back to MSI Afterburner in this little area here, uh, we can go up here and I wanna go to GPU temperature and you'll notice I can go down here and override group name. That's what we want. So instead of GPU, I'm gonna put 2070 super and I'll click apply. And what you'll notice is now it says this, but wait a minute, this other stuff here isn't being utilized as well. What's going on? We basically have to go through and rename every graphic setting to the same thing if we want it all to be kind of sync together and show as a 2070 super. So what you can do is, do is highlight all of this, copy it, and then highlight everything by holding control that you wanna change for the name. So in this case, it's GPU usage, memory clock, core clock, and memory clock. I'm gonna click on override group name, get rid of this stuff, and just paste this in here. And then we'll click apply. And now you'll notice all of this stuff is all synced together. So you have just everything, you know, this is all for your graphics card. And then if we come down for the CPU, we can do the same thing there. So CPU temp right here. CPU usage, and then CPU clock. So all of this, I'm gonna override the group name and delete this and just label this Ryzen 3900 XT and click apply. And there we go, now it is all up here and we can even go through with the RAM and relabel that. So if we wanna actually put in what our RAM is, so we could say 32 GB, 3200 megahertz, click apply. And there you go. And if you wanna go ahead and turn the monitoring overlay off, you just hit your keyboard shortcut again. Alt F8 is what I set and it goes off. Now, if you have a keyboard that has like a macro function, then you could set that up as well. So on mine, for instance, I just set a macro up on that, hit that button, comes right back on, goes right back off. Don't have to remember what the shortcut is, just have to remember what button to press. And that is gonna wrap up this video, everybody. I hope it helped you out. If it did, hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know if it did or if it didn't. Because, you know, sometimes I just tend to ramble on and just keep going on and on about stuff and start quoting movies and everything and just, you know, rambling is a part of it and I'm doing it right now, aren't I? Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves.